Here I'm going to show you how to make some interesting drum patterns on FL Studio. Um, first of all, to get started, what you want to do is make yourself a simple little beat. I'm going to be this beat in about a minute. Um, I'll play it for you. Alright, you can see just a little simple beat, nothing special. Um, I already have another pattern made with notes that I call fill notes, and you'll see here. Now, you're probably wondering what all these different colors are. I have them color-coded so you can understand it a little bit more easier. The green notes are the main notes, which is the original drum pattern. Um, the pink or red notes, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. They're what I call fill notes, and what you want to have is have your fill notes before your main notes. You can see that every fill note that I have here is put before <coughs> my main note, and these blue ones are just something I added in here. It's just a couple of toms that I put in. You don't have to have them. Anyways, um, when you add the fill notes, you want to have them before your main note or it could be after, it doesn't matter. And <clears throat> you can put one note before, you can put two, you can put three, you can put as many as you want to whatever you think sounds good. But um, when you make your fill notes, you wanna, in most cases, have your velocity a little bit lower than the main note's velocity. Like, you can see these here, they're lower, but these here, it's the same and one's higher. It just all depends on how you want it to sound. So, here I'm going to let you hear it with the fill notes that I added in. You can see it just gives it more of a stylish beat to it. Um, I use fill notes in every drum pattern and every song I use. Um, if you listen to my songs, if you listen close enough, you'll notice that you'll hear the fill, fill notes in my drum patterns, in most uh, patterns. Um, so yeah, when you make them, just make sure that you um, have them before your main note, or it could be after, actually, it doesn't really matter. But, I mean, you could basically make it to your liking. You can see how I made it here, just I have it before, and make I have velocity lower in most cases but um yeah I'll let you hear it again it sounds pretty good it sounds a lot better than just a little original beat So, that's my little tutorial on how to make some interesting drum sounds and beats on FL Studio. Um, you can use fill notes in any beat, in any way, really. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or comments or whatever, just send me a message or leave a comment. But yeah, that's, that's how I make my drum beats.